The Always Active Window extension allows you to basically pretend that your browser windows are always active by spoofing the visibility state of the event. What this means is a lot of websites track to see that you're actively viewing the window. It is at the forefront of your display. If it isn't, they sometimes don't incur an action. For example, you may be watching a video online that has advertisements. When you click away from that browser, it no longer plays the adverts until you return, meaning it ensures you watch the adverts. However, if you have this extension enabled, it actively tells the browser that you're always visibly watching. So the adverts will play as if you are actively watching the window, which you aren't. This has many enhancements and beneficial features behind it if you're looking to always have a page to be active. The first thing we do is we add this to our browser. So we click to add to Chrome and add the extension. We then have the ability to pin this to our browser tab. Simply click on the jigsaw piece and then click the pin. You can also enable this in incognito mode. Simply click the jigsaw piece and then click the three dots. Click manage extension and then here you'll see it says allow an incognito. Simply select and now this is available in incognito mode as well. Now inside the header area you will see on the toolbar this extension. So let's go ahead and test this extension out. So let's go to Wikipedia as an example. Now, if we left click on this extension, we can turn this on. We can then turn it off. And you can see as we engage with this content, our browser picks up different features. We can then look at the specific settings of this extension by right clicking and selecting options. Now we have the ability to tailor the specific rules we're looking for. We have the option to globally block blur events, focus events, visibility events, mouse leave events, lost pointer capture events, and we can also add display logs as well. So if we turn display logs on and save the options, this will then show in our console inside the display logs. As you can see, you have to enable this via the list of host names. So to do this, you can add a comma depleted list. So for example, we had Wikipedia, you can add google.com, youtube.com, and present these as we can see here. As you can see, there's also the option to set specific rules on specific host names or domains. So looking at the placeholder here, we can see an example. We can see on Google Docs, the blur functionality has been um, enabled or disabled. And that is how you can follow this format. So for example, you can take the URL and then you would open this up. Like so. And that then enables with the extension. If you're looking to make sure that you always have an active window present on your browser, this extension is a foolproof way of achieving that um, as demonstrated by enabling it, turning it on the specific host name, and then the specific settings we see inside of that.